Welcome to the Halloween edition of Corey Turner Talks Real Estate. And today's episode is Ghostface Photobomb's Real Estate Listing Making the Internet Scream. <laughs> I wish I could say that was the last pun in this video, but it's... It's not. <laughs> As always, if you have a funny, crazy, or scary real estate story, email me at Corey at CoreyTurnerTalks.com and I might put it on the show. Be sure to subscribe if you like fun real estate stories. Okay, on with today's video. So what do you do when you have a listing in a neighborhood that isn't getting a lot of traffic? Well, it's easy. You just scare potential buyers. <laughs> That's exactly what James Pyle, a real estate agent in Lansing, Michigan, did to get his listing a little extra attention. And boy, did it ever get extra attention. James decided to put on his Halloween costume, the ghost face costume from the horror movie Scream to be exact, and have a little fun with his listing photos. So when he posted his listing photos, he added a few extra here and there to give him a little extra kick, including in his listing photos were Ghostface carving a pumpkin in the kitchen, raking leaves in the yard, walking through a bedroom door complete with a knife, and my personal favorite, <laughs> hiding behind the curtains in the living room. So did he get that extra attention he wanted? Oh yeah, James said the listings in that area get around a hundred or so views, so he hoped the crazy photos would help him get an extra 500 to 1,000 views, but it, uh, <laughs> it did a little better than that. Within four days, he had over one million views on Zillow, and when the Today Show invited him on, it was estimated with all the social media sources factored in, his listing surpassed 5 million hits. Now, not everyone was thrilled that Ghostface photobombed his listing, as feedback from one local agent uh, advised him to, uh, let's see, be more professional and grow the F up. <laughs> The sellers, however, of course, they had approved the photos before they were taken. They were thrilled with it, and they said actually their whole family was having a really good time with it, too. James said he's enjoying his two minutes of fame. When asked why he did it, he said, well, he needed something extra. There's nothing wrong with the neighborhood or the area. It's just not one of those neighborhoods that everyone's dying to get into. He said the pun was not intentional, but I'll let it be your call. <laughs> if you like fun real estate stories, be sure to subscribe. If you have a funny or crazy real estate story or you have a link to one, be sure to email me at Corey at CoreyTurnerTalks.com. I might use it in a future video and give you a shout out. <laughs> Thanks for watching and let's talk about real estate tomorrow.